Hey guys, I just wanted to show you guys what you'll be able to make at the end of this video. So let's click play. And you'll be able to rotate your character. You'll be able to move with uh, WASTI keys or arrow keys. Um, um, and your camera will move really uh, smooth with your character as well. Um, if you face this way, uh, you know, W will be forward, S will be back. If you face this way, S will be forward, W will be back. If you face this way, A will be forward, or D will be forward, A, you know, etc. So, um, hope you guys enjoy. Hello everyone, my name is Ajaxer, and I'm going to show you how to make a 3D top-down shooter in Unity. So for today, we're going to be working on player movement, player rotation, and camera movement. <laughs> Alright, so I have a new project, uh, empty scene, and I'm going to start off by creating a ground. So right click, 3D object, cube, and I'm going to reset the position on the transform. Um, and then I'm going to make this 100 on the X axis and 100 on the Z axis. So just 100 by 100 floor. And I'm going to change the color of the ground to a dark red. So I'm going to create a material. Say ground material. And dark red. Okay. Then I'm going to drag my material onto my ground, and now I have a red ground. And I'm going to rename this to ground. And then I'm going to make our player. So I'm going to right click on the hierarchy, 3D object, capsule, and reset the transform. And then move our player up a bit. And now we have a player. I'm just going to rename capsule to player. Okay, and then um, I'm going to make a gun for my player. So 3D object, cube. Um, move the cube forward a bit. And then let me go up to him. Okay, and then I'm going to change this to 0 0.1 on the X, 0 0.1 on the Y, and then 0 0.7 on the Z. And just move this a little closer to him. And I'm going to make the gun a dark gray. So I'm going to make another material and call it gun material and I'm going to make this a dark gray. I'm just going to drag this gun material onto the gun. So now we have a player, a ground, and a gun which I just renamed. Okay so now let's uh, take care of the player movement um, in response to our keyboard input. So let's go to our player. Let's say add component. Um, scroll to the bottom, new script. And then let's say, let's call it player controller. And uh, C sharp, create and add. And then let's click, right click on the player controller and then click edit script. And then let's get rid of these comments right here. Alright, so we only need um, one variable in this class for now. It's just going to be movement speed. So we'll say serialize field private float movement speed. And this will just, you know, be in charge of how fast our player moves around. Um, and serialize field um, allows you to edit this value um, the value right below it in the editor and I'll show you why that's very useful so let's make a method called void handle movement input and then let's say float horizontal equals input dot get axis horizontal this variable is responsible for horizontal movement and then we'll get float vertical input dot get axis vertical. This variable is responsible for forward and back movement. And then I'm going to make a vector three uh, movement equals new vector three horizontal 
zero because we're not actually going up or down we're not like jumping or anything we're just going you know front back uh, side to side and then diagonals but we're not going up and down so zero on the y and then vertical for the z and then we are going to move our transform so transform.translate um, and then movement times movement speed times time dot delta time comma space dot world and then if we go back to the unity editor and we click play uh, our player won't actually move because um, we set serialized field for the movement speed so currently um, the default value is zero so let's change it to five and it still doesn't freaking work oh because we never call okay so go back to your um, visual studio and then call in your update method handle movement input <laughs> um, okay so now it will work um, let's update this value to five uh, movement speed and then let's click play and so now our player is moving to our wasti keys and the nice thing about having a serialized field for movement speed is that you can test out different values for movement speed. So I can change this to, say, 10. My player is going to be super fast. Or I can change it to 1. He's going to be super slow. And then I'm just going to change it back to 5, and it's just going to be back to what we had it. Um, remember that if you change anything, say I change it to 10, during play mode, when you stop playing, it's going to... Um, go back to the value that you had before you clicked play. So, 5. Um, so, next I'm going to um, code the camera movement, how it follows the player. And this is going to be a very nice camera movement that you'll see in a lot of professional top-down shooters. It's going to be really smooth, and um, it's not going to be jerky. You know, it's not going to it's it's gonna be very smooth and feel really good and really professional so let's go to our main camera let's uh, add component and then let's scroll down new script and let's say camera controller and let's uh, edit script And so this uh, class is going to have three uh, variables. It's um, all going to be serialized fields, so we can edit these values in the editor. And one, the first one is going to be private transform target. And this is just going to be our, um, our player, or whatever the camera is following, the target. Um, so then we're going to make the next one serialized field private um, vector 3 target offset and the target offset is just going to be here's the camera here's the target it's the distance between the target and the camera um, next we're going to be making the movement speed of the camera and I'll show you um, what that is later and why that makes it feel so good um, so private float movement speed. Um, and then let's get rid of these comments. Okay. Then I'm going to go down here. Void move camera. And I'm going to say transform dot position. Let's move the position of the camera. Um, vector 3 dot lerp. Uh, whoops, I exit hit insert um, let's say transform dot position target dot position and then movement speed times time dot delta time and on our target dot position we want to add the target offset alrighty so then let's go back to the unity editor and these values should update um, so now our camera controller is looking for a target so let's drag our player object into that field and now it'll lock on to our player 
So let's add a offset. So we want our camera to be um, up and then behind our player and follow our player like this, right? So we want to move up 10 on the Y axis and back negative 10 on the Z axis. And let's just set the movement speed to 5 and see how it feels. Um, so now let's play. Um, we always forget to put the method in the update method. So let's go back to um, Visual Studio and call the move camera method in the update method. So let's go back. And then now we hit play. And now it should be following very well. Um, you can't really see um, the, the camera move very well because um, the ground. So I'm going to lay down a couple objects so you guys can see um, the the uh, importance of having movement speed in a in a camera movement in a top-down shooter. I'm just gonna add one one object, one cube object, or a couple cube objects. Um, let's just move this guy here. Okay, now let's play. And so now you can, the cubes are just for perspective, but you can see that our player moves around and our camera follows him. And you can see how smooth the camera is. And when you stop, it, you know, kind of slides in. So say I want to make this camera move a little bit faster, set it to movement speed to 10. It'll move pretty fast with, with me, with my player. Say I want it to move super slow, I'll set the movement speed to 1 it'll move super slow and I'm just gonna set it back to 5 because I think 5 feels amazing um, so I'm gonna stop playing and now we have our camera and our movement now we just need our rotation um, in accordance to our mouse position so I want my player to rotate while while I'm moving and while I'm rotating um, you know moving my mouse around him um, so let's do that let's go to our player um, right click on player controller and then edit, edit script and then make a method called void handle rotation input okay then I'm gonna go ray cast hit hit I'm gonna go ray ray equals camera dot main dot screen point to ray input dot mouse position so this will get our mouse position in accordance to our um, camera and it'll shoot down a ray and get the point it'll shoot think of it as like shooting down a line from your from your mouse position and then shooting a point on in the world and getting that so if physics dot um, I think it's hit it ray cast um, ray out hit um, so if it hit something um, hit dot or let's say we want the to rotate the player right so we want to go transform dot look at um, and then we can go n uh, New vector three um, hit dot point dot x uh, transform dot position dot y and then hit dot point dot z already and we're not forgetting this time we are calling this method that we just made inside the update method and let's go back to Unity. Let's hit play. And now our player rotates with our mouse. And as you can see, um, you know, when when you're facing this way, S becomes forward and you know W becomes back. When you're facing this way, S becomes back, W becomes forward. We have um, you know, when you're facing this way, A become or D 
yes, D <laughs> becomes forward, um, A becomes back, S becomes right, you know. So it's very smooth. Um, we have the camera moving, moving very smooth, um, smooth, and um, you know, um, this is feeling good. This is feeling good. So that's the end of this video. Um, next video, I'm going to show you how to shoot projectiles out of your gun. Um, thank you for watching.